I love, love coming of age stories and you've made mm -hmm. two of my favorite ones in the past decade. So just curious mm -hmm. about what it's like capturing that cinematically, exploring it in different time periods, different households, like kind of the comparing and contrasting that and what deeper understanding of humanity it maybe have, uh, maybe it has mm -hmm. given you about the formative years of our lives? Yeah, that's a great question. I, first of all, I, for some reason, I am very attracted to this period of life. Mm -hmm. um, and I think it's just, it, it's like, it's such a, it's such a time of, of transformation and of figuring out who you are. And I also feel like I come of age over and over again through life. Like anytime I'm going through any major life transition, like I, I feel like I came of age when I became a mom. Like that was its own, like just radical before and after. And I think there are lots of points like that in life that I'm just always very interested in. So I have to say, like, I feel like part of why is just because um, like that, all, all of those feelings like live right here in me. You know what I mean? Like, it's not hard for me to reach. I don't have to reach that far back to them. Like they are very present. So yeah, so I think, I think, I think that's why I'm, uh, why I'm drawn to, drawn to them. If I may ask, does it cause you to have a healthier relationship with your younger self? Oh, that's a great question, too. I think so. I think in both instances, in both this film and Edge of Seventeen, it helps me look back on that person that I was with more compassion. Mm. Um, because when I was going through those times, I definitely felt like very alone and also like I was the whole thing up you know what I mean right. like I don't know I just felt really like out of control and like I was doing it all wrong and you know um but the truth is like I, I think like everybody feels that way like you yeah. just feel um uh yeah it's just it's it's like the ground shifting under your feet so much at that age like it's just the tough age it just is yeah yeah. And, and you capture it, like like I mentioned, you capture it so well, because I think what I really value about your work, especially here with this film, is how much you include real conversations. I mm. often think about that conversation between Ailey and Blake in the living room from Edge of 17. Mm. And there's so many in this one um, that kind of make you want to pause uh, with whoever you're watching it with to reflect and have a deeper discussion mm. and that sort of thing. And and I, I, I'm sure you've been familiar with the source material uh, for some time, but what sort of beautiful conversations ha has this experience gifted you, whether it was with the actors, your family, mm -hmm. or anybody after uh, who may have seen the film? Yeah. Um... You know, I so part of what really drew me to this film was I was so interested in this young girl going through really like an existential crisis and asking, is there anything greater than us? Mm. And searching for it and like really asking life's, biggest questions like well, why are we here is anyone in charge you know <laughs> like or all is it just sort of like a cold random lottery right. um and so I have had a lot of conversations about that with a lot of people who um who, who came together to make the film um what they what they believe and when and when those like the germ of that belief started because definitely for me what I found is that when I look back I realize that it was Margaret's age that I started to wonder like what's happening exactly in the universe you know I mean I think and I think part of it was like I realized oh my gosh my parents you always think of your parents as God like they have all the answers. And then around that age, I was like, oh my God, they don't know what they're doing. Like they're they're just as clueless as I am. So like, if they're not God, like who is, like who's in charge? 
So I think that's part of why the book spoke to me so much. I, I realized that like that was the age I started to ask those larger existential questions. And I've been asking them ever since. And I don't know the answers, you know, still, but right. but I always I but I've carried the question with me everywhere. Yeah, yeah. I, I by the way, I, I love how you focus on the importance of the parents' perspective or just showing the humanity of them. Like it's just uh, I, I can't think of a lot of coming of age movies that I grew up with that brought that sort of perspective to the film where I thought, man, my parents are uh, are human beings who mess up. And, yes. and so I just found that so beautiful that you uh, brought that to both your films. Yeah, no, I, I, I remember that realization, I remember was terrifying yeah. <laughs> terrifying to realize oh they're wait a people. minute yeah. they're just real people they're just guessing like they don't know <laughs> like it, it was it was it's so like there's such a safe feeling when you're a kid and it's like oh someone's got this like someone's got the answers it's okay and then realizing oh no they don't it's like oh god <laughs> yeah. what do we do yeah, yeah. definitely uh, one of the moments that i really really loved is this uh sit down uh, with Rachel and Abby where they're talking about um, why Rachel's character doesn't yeah. doesn't have a, a connection with her parents anymore. And there's mm -hmm. such a raw moment to that mm -hmm. through their performances. Yeah. There's this drop in face that Rachel mm -hmm. does and the way that Abby just says like, mom, it's just, yes, I, it, 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 I just, I have a very general question of like what it was mm -hmm. like capturing that moment and just kind of witnessing the raw emotion of that scene. Yes. Um, I was crying behind the monitors. I mean, I really, I, um, and I, and that particular scene, I like, I choke up every, every single time I see it. And I've seen it 10,000 times in the editing room. Um, but I think, but I think what gets me so much about it is, um the way Rachel is trying so hard not to burden her daughter with her own pain you right. know and and I find that to be so true of motherhood like I never want my kid to have to carry any of the stuff I'm carrying like I just want him to be free of all of that but that's hard to do because you're a person and so you know and so, you know, um, your emotions are going to come out, but um, but watching her try to keep them in just like breaks my heart. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're just about out of time. I want to close mm -hmm. with something that happens very early on in the film that probably many of us can relate to. It's that, that moment when you are, are perhaps moving and the people that were in your lives may no longer uh, be in your life. And so there's this great moment where Abby's character is looking out the window and she's mm -hmm. see, hearing the noises of the busy street, people going to the pizza parlor and things like that. And yeah. it's just, it, it got me thinking about the sounds of home. And so I'm just mm. curious, what are those sounds of home for you? Mm, I think you have the best questions. I think every question you ask is the best question, but I've never been asked before. I love it. Oh my gosh. Um, I grew up in the suburbs. So for me, it's it's like a distant lawnmower mm -hmm. or like a leaf, a leaf blower. Yeah. Um, it's the pool equipment coming on in summer, you know, the little vacuum, right. you know what I mean? It's that sort of thing. And it's like, we had this big, we had one of those window ACs, you know, like one of those big ones that like yeah, sticks yeah. out and like, yeah. And like rumbles, you know, right. so it's that. Um, yeah. 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 Well, you do such a great job of like capturing the poetry of life. So I'm just so grateful for you. And I, I, I know you have a lot of great work ahead of you. So I can't wait to see it. Thank you so much. Thank you. So great to talk to you, Preston. Yes, Thanks uh, for thank all the you. really thoughtful questions. Thank you. <laughs>